Hello, my name is Adriana, and I'm making face masks and donating. Ten-year-old Adriana is part of a sewing class that, despite social distancing, is finding a way to follow through on their promise to make sure that any medical worker who needs a mask can get one. I never thought I would be making face masks period because of a crisis like this. Sonia, also known as Fei Wu, is a retired Boeing worker turned designer. And she says right now it's about working with what you have. You don't have to go out and go to Joanne Fabrics or the fabric store. You can use some sheets, some cotton sheets that you have at home. If you have like an old bra that you don't use, cut that. You know that cup? No. Yes. Yes. This is time where we have to be creative. And that's exactly what's happening at this home in Seattle. Cassandra Western and her three kids have a busy assembly line going. They've already made and sent 100 masks to the hospital and are working on 50 more. Well, I love doing it with the, guys, the kids. I mean, I feel like uh, there's not much we can do being home. And um, this is something I've always loved to do is so. Um, it makes me feel happy and good because I know that we're helping people that really need it the most. And more businesses are getting involved. Seattle Makers has moved away from what they normally do to make masks and face shields. But they are also selling kits to help others who want to get in on this movement. Uh, because there is an elastic shortage out there, you can attach twine or uh, strips of fabric, rope, anything really to attach these. So. Uh, there's, a, there's an awesome maker community out there making multiple versions, finding out what works and responding within hours. The volunteers acknowledge these products aren't approved surgical masks, but as the CDC has stated, it is a last resort that is clearly better than nothing at all. It feels really good to be able to help. Well, if you'd like to participate in the 100 million mask challenge, head to our website, king5evening.com.